What's going on YouTube? It's your boy DP Dubs and we are back with another one. This is episode two of the cheapest way to grow. And here we have a day 13 update. All right, so around day nine, I saw a few pins in the bins. Hold up, pins in the bins? That sounds kind of fire. Can we make that a thing? Hashtag pins in the bins. So yeah, there were a few pins. So we put everything in the fruiting conditions. Let's see how far we got. Two bins looking good so far. Even though there aren't any pins, but that's okay. We're not in a rush. That just means we saved the best for last. And there we go. Pins in the bins. Pins in the bins. But wait, there's more. I guess it's about time to address the contamination in the room. That good old trichodermia. Well, not necessarily good in this situation, but um, we are learning and experimenting. So let's try to have some fun with this. And since the first two bins look okay, besides being a little dry, we're going to spray these down and get them away from this before they get contaminated. All right, so after handling the other bins and doing a bit of research, I figured out how we're going to handle this. We're going to spray hydrogen peroxide on the affected area, and hopefully that controls the contamination. I've never done this, so we're doing this in real time for the first time, and hopefully we get good results. But like I said before, this is all a learning experience, so let's just have fun, and whatever happens, happens, guys. All right, so right now I'm just soaking the area with peroxide. The first bottle was alcohol. I was just trying to disinfect the area. I should have did that first, actually. That's probably why I ended up with contaminant in the first place. Hashtag pins in the bins. All right, that's the last one, I swear. You got to bear with me. This brain I have just comes and go as it pleases. It's probably why it took me so long to get to this video. But back to the matter at hand. Yeah, it says you can just leave it, but that doesn't sit well with me. So I'm actually going to end up cutting it out right now. Let me just disinfect this knife I have. And I'm just going to cut the chunk out and probably spray a little more peroxide on the, the bottom layer. All right, so this is not going as planned, but we've made it this far, so we might as well just tough it out. I mean, worst case scenario, we just junked this bin. So here we go with the peroxide. Still got a little more to scoop out. But I mean, we're making progress. All right, to save you some time and me some embarrassment, I skipped ahead. Only thing left to do is just disinfect the lid, maybe mist it, and then I should be good to go. And that's about it. Well, based on a little knowledge I have anyway. Oh, and we will be keeping these away from the other bins. Just in case this is just bro science and it doesn't work at all. I mean, I've seen it work for others, but who knows? Only time will tell, right? And if you made it this far, thank you. I appreciate it. Now, go ahead and do all that good old YouTube stuff. Like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you all want to see on this channel. I mean, I do have a few things planned, but I'm curious to know what everyone else is thinking. All right, and that's going to do it for this video, guys. Pins and... Nope, nope, nope. I said I'm not going to do it again. All right, guys. Take it easy.